Monroe Farmers Market and right after the 4th of July and it looks like everything is just beautiful, perfect produce here. And I've got Mr. Spillers and I believe this is his granddaughter with him who is his one of his A number one helpers. Abby. Abby, how long have you been helping your grandfather? Ever since she could walk. Yeah, you put my little boy when he was two years old up in that scale right there. That's why I would go away. You can look at your little boy and tell. <laughs> that, that was 20, he's 25 now, so that was about 24 years ago. I know, I've known you since then. Where is your farm? Uh, 165 South, just before you get to Bosco. And these sunflowers, you grow those at the... At the... Those, those come from off the of Prairie Road. We have a field off the of Prairie Road, too, that we grow up. Oh, they are absolutely beautiful. Those are just coming in right there. Just beautiful. What time of year are you here? When do you first get here? Last week of May. And then when do you leave? It seems like when, you're here when it starts when it starts slowing up in August, we'll start coming Fridays and Saturdays only till Thanksgiving. Tell me your most popular selling item. Tomatoes, peas, and okra. Okay. And I love the sunflowers and the zinnias are all good pretty too. Well, thank you, Mr. Spillers. We appreciate it. We appreciate, appreciate it. you. We don't ever want you to leave. We, if I can walk, I'll be here. This is a beautiful produce stand, and you are Connie Green, and I've been seeing you here for years. And Twenty-seven always, years. Always glad to see your face. Where is your? Where do you farm? I live at Kilburn, and I have five acres of a variety of peach orchards, peas, beans, tomatoes. I don't hire anybody anymore. My grandkids, they're all older, don't want to do any farming. And I have reduced everything where I can handle it myself. I pick every other day, and the other days I'm over here. People ask me, how come I wasn't here opening day? on a Thursday. I said I was picky so I could come Friday. Friday. You know. Well I hope the younger generation wants to. There's some well, of them that want to continue to farm. I, they it makes me they sad. know how to do it. But when you're a banker and you're a lawyer, you cannot see yourself groveling in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but they do know but from they, their grandma. But they, they do know how to plant. They do know how to pick. That's wonderful. And they know how to eat. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Hall. Good morning. Thank you for letting us interview you. No I just, problem. I look forward to this every year. I appreciate I can you smell coming the, by every year. I can smell the ambrosia right here. My Good. mouth is watering. <laughs> what is your best selling uh, item, would you say? Well, uh, I, know I think the beautiful. thing that generates the most revenue and helps pay my bills is melons and tomatoes. In other words, tomatoes and cantaloupes right. and watermelons. Right. Uh, those traditionally have been. Uh, uh, real strong points on our big draw right. and then all the other stuff it just adds to the excitement and to the blend of the, the eclectic style of and what's great about goodies. this farmer's market I mean y'all are uh, you are Holly where you grow your your, your farms in, in Holly West Ridge. Carroll Parish okay. not Holly Ridge but West Carroll okay. uh, on the Mason Ridge right in the middle of that in Floyd Louisiana grown there up myself you know we started off with peach trees my dad had us uh, growing peaches and uh, uh, one year, oh about 20 years ago, a row of peach trees died. I said, what am I going to do? I, I guess I'll plant some cantaloupes. And so that's kind of got got me started. Actually, the dying of the trees got me started in doing different, different things. Well, that's interesting. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. How many varieties of cantaloupe do you have? Uh, probably five. Uh, right now, the only thing that we're gathering right now is uh, the ambrosia. But we've had honeydew in the past. We've had some French charnelay melons. Uh, we've What's had the white angel. one? Is that the That's angel? That's the angel, and we also have the Israel, which is a white melon, also. And so that just adds to the That's mix. That's the earlier interest. varieties, right? That well, we had them. The first uh, planting was was those varieties. Well, please don't ever stop coming. Okay. It's don't ever favorite. stop coming here. And I, I, I can keep coming. <laughs>